So I've been seeing some comments and some deck lists floating around where people are adding in Bell, Ghost Bell, and DD Crow on top of the two copies of Called By in every deck as basically they're out to the Branded Explosion lock. And those cards are good because not only do they hit Explosion, but they're also just good against the Despia deck in general. They're hitting Banishment and uh, Branded in Red as well, which are the two scariest forms of interaction outside of Explosion. The uh, problem is that there's a very straightforward and simple way for the Branded player to play around Bell, Crow, and Called By. And it just involves just a two card combo. Basically, hard drawing branded fusion or a way to access branded fusion, and then any way to Alibur. I, which I, I didn't read this hand, but this hand just shows every possible way you have to get Alibur in the deck hard drawing it, banishing tragedy, or branded opening. So, very first step you summon, you get your Alibur, and Alibur will straight up add Expulsion to your hand. Next, when you brand Fusion, you brand Fusion for Albion, dumping, very important, we have to use Draw as a Disciple for this, or a Light Target. Edo will not work to play around Bell and Crow. So dump Albas and dump Raw as Disciple, summon Albion. And now Albion's effect will banish. We will not go into Mirror Jade. We will go into a fusion that lets us banish the Raw's Disciple from our grave. So in this case, either Coritis or Masquerade. Banish Albas. Oh, fuck, not, not Albas. <laughs> Do not banish Albas. Banish Raw's Disciple and banish Alibur. Go into our Masquerade. And now with... Now we will set the Expulsion we add with Alibur. On our opponent's turn. Use Brandon Expulsion. Tribute either one of these. And we will summon Ra's Disciple and Alibur from the Banish Pile. So very crucially, Called By will not stop this anymore because called there's no target in Grave. Same with Crow. And as for Bell, Bell well, again we're smashing something from the Banish Pile, so Bell can't be activated. And there's the there's the lock. So the and as for the when we summon Albion, if they crow or bell us on the Albion, it doesn't really matter. Because Albion we're just trying to trying to banish the Raw's disciple. So no matter what they banish with Crow, because we have a uh, Albas in a uh, Raw Disciple in Grave, an Alibur on field, and an Albion on field, we'll always be able to go into a fusion that will let us banish the Raw Disciple, the Raw's Disciple. And if they go spell the Albion effect to fusion summon, then that's fine too, because we already added Explosion to our hand with Alibur, and it's already live with the Albion on field and the Raw Disciple in, and Albaz in Grave. So even if they had if they belled the Fusion Sum effect, they would have to have a second copy of say a Bell or a Crow in order to still avoid getting locked. 
And the cool thing about this play is that because you're most likely tributing the Albion, you actually do get a follow up with Albion, unlike the other route where you go Lubelion for Edo. Alright, this is a future me. I forgot to include the second way to play around called by Crow and Bell. Which is basically a way to polymerization and Alibur. So, perfect example. We'll brand opening the draw face to discard Edge and Chain. And that gets us both our combo pieces. Also plays around Droll because it's in the draw phase. So add branded fusion. And our patchwork will get us our poly and chain. Next, next we will brand infusion for Albion once again, so we can dump Raw's Disciple. And then with Albion, we will banish, make a Despian, we can make either a Coritis or a Masquerade in this case. And we'll use, for the, we'll make a Coritis, banish Raw, and banish Alibur. Again, if they have Crow in this, it doesn't matter because we have enough fusion material to where we can just make another fusion that will banish Alibur. If they have Bell, then they use their Bell and they won't have they won't have it for our explosion next turn. So yeah. With Alibur and Raw as a disciple, we can make a Coritis. And then use we'll use polymerization to make a masquerade with the Albion on field and the Coritis. And now we go to end phase. And Albion, because we fused it with polymerization and it's in the grave, we can add, we can set explosion. Then once again on our opponent's turn, brand explosion targeting two banished monsters, Raw and and uh, Alibur. Make sure you summon the Alibur on your side of the field and raw to your opponents. And our opponent cannot Ghost Belt or Crow or Called by it on their turn either, since we bought both monsters from the Banished Pile. So, the next question you guys must have is, can you do this? with a dark target such just as Edo. And the answer is yes. However, it's it's more of a 2.5 or or a 2.69 card combo because in order to fully play around Crow and Bell, you need a dark or light monster in hand. So first off, I ran a poll yesterday asking you guys what the best Brandon Expulsion target is. And looks like I've got a lot of convincing to to do to you guys since less than 5% of you voted that the gimmick puppet nightmare to be the best option, even though I, that's what I believe. So so maybe so I'll try doing that. Alibur Brandon Fusion. Alibur will add us our Brandon Expulsion. And we will brand this fusion for Lubelion, dumping our dark target, 
getting a public nightmare, and falling about bass. Next Abelion is gonna trigger. Discarding our light or dark monster. I I, I know in this case you wouldn't dump Tribe Mercury because it's a good card, but this is just to show the combo in in effect. And next we will make our Albion with the Lubelion and our Fallen of Albaz. And again, since we discarded a light and dark or dark monster, we now have two monsters in grave, so explosion will be live no matter if they crow or bell as right now. So Albion will fuse Mirajate or Masquerade with our gimmick puppet and our Alibur. And we'll set our explosion that we searched. And now, Explosion will tribute Albion. And summon the Gimmick Puppet to our opponent. And our Alibur. And here's the great thing about Gimmick Puppet. It is not a trigger effect. It is not a, some kind of continuous effect, it's like Scythe. It's like a lingering effect, so as soon as you summon this to your opponent, they're, they're gone, they're, they're, they're locked. There's nothing they can do to stop it, there's no... They can't drop with this, they can't dark hold this, you know, they... And the thing is, is because we did this line of play, they also cannot interact with our explosion really, because they cannot crow, call it by it, or bell. Uh, from to stop prevent this from getting sun on their field. So there's really very, very few outs that are almost non. None of them are commonly played to stop to really ha get them out of this lock. This is why I feel like this is the most reliable thing to summon off explosion. Even though I know most people disagree with this, since th there's nothing you can do afterwards. Okay, sorry, sorry. From for my some of my reading challenge players, the lock was that yeah, your opponent cannot summon anything but gimmick puppets, especially anything but gimmick puppets. So you you gotta roll the die and you know hope your opponents you're not facing the one player on master who playing gimmick puppets, you know. So this is again we're just showing the Alibur plus Poly line now with a uh, dark target. It's very similar. Ran infusion for Lubelion. And Lubelion will discard Fallen of Albaz to make our Albion. And Albion will trigger to banish to make Caritas with our Alibur and Gimmick Puppet. And we will poly into Masquerade. And end phase set our expulsion. And yield the drill now. And yeah.
Okay, so in summary, Bell, called by Crow, very good cards against Bran and Despia. However, if people start doing lines like this, then those cards are not as good as at preventing the expulsion, getting yourself expulsion locked. Gimmick Public Nightmare, very very annoying target because this also eliminates outs on the field, field outs after this hits the field, unlike Ross the Cyborg Edo. You know, fortunately, I don't think many people are gonna play this. You know, unless this video goes viral. <laughs> so, if your goal is to just out the lock, then Dark Hole and stuff like Droplets probably suffice. Also, this is just a standard Despia build with two added cards, an Explosion and a Explosion target. You know, we're not even talking about stuff like builds that are more dedicated to Explosion locking you, like Keeper of Dragon Magic. Like that would be a like those builds would be a nightmare to face if you lose a die roll. So this all of this is just gonna make deck building really freaking awkward for like the next week as we see how op how prevalent this is being played. So anyway, if you wanna see my brand of Despia build that does not play any of this expulsion crap, just plays full gas and does a more much more base combo. So it's on the screen here and here.